Max Barbershop. The place to be in Vegas. Yep, here on Limited. Yeah, I mean, there's, right. there's Uncle Charlie outside here. Uncle Charlie's the man who cut my hair. Yeah, I mean, I just got a Eating phone call. Yeah, I just got a, I just got a phone call from Mac. Mac was saying, come down to the shop, Tyson's down here. You know what I mean? I met Mac about four years ago, diamond guy. Always hooks me up to any fire that comes down there, me being a fellow fire myself, any fire that comes down, they come here. You come to Vegas and you're 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 a black fire and you don't get your hair cut in there, you're a sellout. Like I said earlier we just got a phone call from Mac. Uh, sp spoke to said, oh, come down, uh, I've got a real special guest for you to come and meet. And last time I met Mike Tyson was about seven years ago in London, England, and now I get a chance to see him again. If you look back in your career, Mike, what would you say was your greatest victory? My greatest victory, probably. People don't think so. I like one of them, the first Frank Bruno fight, I think. Yeah. It was a good fight. Michael Smith was a good fight. I don't know what, which one I can establish to make, um, to distinguish which one's going to be the number one. How does it feel inside to know that you are like one of the greatest heavyweights of all time? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think about it like that. It's just something, um, I planned to do when I was a little kid. I always wanted to have that feeling. I don't, I don't take it to extremes like other people may take it, but um, I enjoy it. We got a young guy now in, in England now who's cruiserweight champion, David Hay. Do you know anything about David? I never had any idea. Yeah? Okay, because David's like, a, he's like a real hot shot. He's like moving up to heavyweight. Would you have any advice that you could give to David Hay? It's to be dedicated, it's to make this your life. But you know, being successful has more to do with your lifestyle than anything. You have to live this dream, this eat this, and this is just have to, it's just who you want to be. And also, would you have any message out to uh, any young kids out in London, England, uh, who, who are watching this now? Uh, any like positive? Because like sometimes we put the essence on role model and say, oh, well, this person's a role model, that person's a role model. But a lot of people look up to you, Mike. Globally, no, but you just have to take people in the individual actuality. And just say this is what I want to accomplish and this is the image that I want to project and that's how people become their own role models. And what are you doing now Mike? Because I know you come to England quite regular so what well, are you yeah, doing Yeah, I do a lot of traveling, I do a lot of engagement speaking all over the world and I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah? Okay. Mike, it's an honor to, to, to be up with you. Thanks Thank a lot brother.